there's something about attractive places that makes folks want to stop and admire them. Makes you want to go closer and examine the flowers and the house. You think about owning such a pretty place. And there are other places you see, and you're glad to get on by as fast as possible. Yes, all of us are apt to judge by appearances. In the same way, customers walking down the Kresge store aisle judge by appearances, too. Folks are attracted to counters that look fresh, inviting, and well cared for. They just naturally stop and examine the items on display. And nine times out of ten, whether they had meant to buy something or not, they end up buying from a counter that's set up to sell. In the opposite way, customers are turned away by messy counters, counters that show dusty, shop-worn merchandise and sloppy, run-down displays. From the customer's side of the counter, it looks pretty hopeless. Now, there are two sides to every counter the customer side, and the sales lady side, which is your side of the counter. Let's look at your side of the counter. Of course, you want people to stop at your counter because it's attractive and inviting. You want them to find just the article they've been looking for and to be pleased about it. You want them to depend on your counter to have all items on sale and easy to find. And just like every top-flight Kresge sales lady, you know that an empty bin or a bin with one or two soiled dog-eared pieces of merchandise loses sales, makes customers feel like you let them down. And you have let them down if you've let an item go off sale through improper counterfilling. Now, we all realize that it takes an alert sales lady to keep all of the fast-moving items and all of the slow-moving items as well on hand and on sale day in and day out. Many times, it's easier to keep supplies of the fast movers on sale than it is to watch out for the items that you don't get so much call for. But whichever item a customer wants, whether it's a fast-moving white thread number 50 or a slow seller like white number 70, you can take pride in being able to give customers the item they want when they want it. It's really our business to see to it that every item stays on sale all the time. It's our business to keep our counters filled and ready. Now the question is, how to do it? How can you do a good job of waiting on your counter and yet keep it properly filled at the same time? As a matter of fact, there is a way that this can be done. And the best part of it is that the planned way of counterfilling actually makes your job easier and much more pleasant. Easier because while it keeps your counter ready to attract and serve customers, it saves your energy for the pleasant friendliness that customers appreciate. You see, if you don't have a plan and an item like black photo corners goes off sale, a good many customers may just not bother to ask for them. They may decide there's none in the store and go somewhere else. The result is you lose a sale. Sometimes a customer will ask for the item she can't find and then it's up to you to start looking for it. And here the trouble often begins. While the customer waits, you search hurriedly through the understock. If the understock hasn't been kept up right, you won't find any black photo corners here either. Then you have to ask the customer to wait while you make a dash for the stockroom. In the meantime, other customers arrive and want attention. Some get cross at having to wait. Some help themselves. Others get tired waiting and leave. Finally, you get back with the item. Not only have sales been lost, but customers are put out from waiting. And you? Well, a few trips like this tire you out in no time. And why was the extra work and rush necessary? Because an easy, 
planned way of keeping the counter properly filled hadn't been used. Now let's see how such tiring work can be avoided, how the job can be done, how the customers can be well served and the sales lady saved. Here's the easy way. One, use your slack time. Two, start from the middle. And three, work both ways. Now, what does this mean? Just this. The middle is the understock. If your understock is right, you can work up to the top of your counter with ease and with the right merchandise. If your understock is right, you can work down toward the stock room and pull the orders that you're going to need. Let's see how it goes. Use your slack time to keep your bins well filled. And well filled means two things. First, putting new merchandise on the bottom so that the older items will be sold first before they get soiled from handling. This keeps your counter from getting that stale, dusty, dog-eared look. And second, keeping every bin filled to glass level with a few items loose on the top so that customers can pick them up easily. If you do these two things in your slack time throughout the day, your counter is always attractive. And then, too, it lets you check just exactly what orders you must pull to keep a full day's supply of merchandise in your understock for tomorrow. Not only this, but with the understock arranged just like the countertop, your counterfilling job is a lot easier. It all adds up to this. First, keep the bins filled to glass level, putting the older merchandise on the top where it will be sold first before it gets soiled. Second, keep understock in good order, not only to make your counterfilling job easier, but to make your checking and ordering easier and more complete. And lastly, keep a full day's supply ahead. Order and pull your stock carefully so that the right understock will be in place when you need it. And that's what makes folks stop at your counter, because it's attractive and the merchandise is ready for them. It makes their side of the counter look good to them. And you? Well, from your side of the counter, your job will be much easier and a lot more pleasant because you've planned it that way. Mm -hmm.